Hey, so I'm going to put my hair back up. It's annoying me. Um, okay, so I'm going to go over AWS Academy a little bit. Um, we've only had like one class um, so far. And um, okay, just leave it down. <laughs> and um, anyways, only had one class so far. And basically, these are the resources that we're using. And so you can see that there's a registration link. Um, you have access to actually content created by AWS for um, AWS Academy. And um, then you have some slides. We're gonna be communicating through an app called Discord. Um, most of my students like it. If you're familiar with Slack, it's very similar to Slack with some teeth still acting up. Um, and it's very similar to Slack. Uh, a lot of my students like it better. Honestly, personally, I kind of like it better too. Um, so the course outline, it can be done completely online. And we'll have some in-class sessions. It'll be sent out by calendar invite. And then you can virtually attend live classes as well. Um, so we'll be using, let's go ahead and click on this. And again, this is all curriculum from um, AWS. Now, whenever I was studying for my certification, I would have loved to have this resource. <laughs> Either didn't know it existed or it just didn't exist. I don't know. Or if I didn't want to pay the money to do it, one of the two. Um, so it talks about the outline of the course. There's all these objectives. Um, the duration is about 20 to 30 hours. And our goal is to be done by the end of March. Um, let's see. Uh, it says when delivered by an educator, about close to 30 hours. And again, I have some students that's already kind of pro progressed past the point that we've gotten just in the one class. Um, some prereqs is basically have some basic IT skills. Um, and then again, there's a the course outline. Okay, let's go back to here. So what you'll need is a laptop, notebook, pen, and index cards are my personal preferred method of studying for the exam. The exam is, it's, you need to prepare for it, okay? You need to study. It's not one of those things. If, you, if you're someone like me who's always done well, you, you know, pretty easily on exams, this isn't one of those exams. Um, so just be aware. The goal of the course is to develop an understanding of AWS Cloud Fundamentals, focusing on the course objectives. Uh, so what the assignment was from day one was to uh, is the, watch the following modules. Okay, so I'm going to pause right here and get to those modules. Okay, I'm back. What I did was click on this link right here, registration link, and go ahead and sign in. Hello. Okay, I'm back. Someone go ahead and sign in. Not that email. No one. Okay, that's my transcript from some stuff that I've already done. So, okay, so I'm going back to the dashboard. Um, so you'll see, hopefully, once you're already in progress or sign up, because I have to sign you up, um, would be, or have to register for you. Uh, if you, you gotta let me know, because I gotta put your email and all that stuff. I gotta register you for the class. Um, so it's AWS Academy Cloud Foundations in English. And then, let's see, then here's the modules. So let's go back to right here. The assignment was, Welcome to the AWS account. AW. Welcome to the AWS Academy Cloud Fundamentals. Okay. So the way this works is. Uh, So if you have pop-ups, and so you might have to disable the pop-ups for this. So you would click yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to click yes. I'm going to resume where I left off. Thanks for participating. Oh, that's where I've done where I left off. Module. All right. 
So you can see on the left hand side there is um, all these modules. So the assignment, let's go ahead and do a split screen here. Thank you. Let's get out of that. Okay. Okay. So, module one, welcome to AWS Academy. I want to say that I'm right eventually, AWS Academy Cloud Fundamentals, which was this one. Um, then it's going to talk information about how creating your own um, AWS account and accessing the curriculum. Basically, this is an intro on how to get started and the free tier and billing alerts and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think I can close that out without losing stuff. Let's go back to here. So let's see. Intro to cloud computing was the next module. So module one, intro to cloud computing. And some I've completed and some I haven't, or it was just got to the very end. I just didn't wait for it to go to the end. I don't know what I did. But you can see how whenever, like this one still says in progress, what is cloud computing? Um, and then it says kind of white, but when you complete them, it says complete it. Like there's a knowledge check and basically it's just like a checkpoint. It's like, you know, do you understand what we've talked about so far? Which is nice because it has a lot of um, new information, new terminology, and it can be a little overwhelming, but they have these knowledge checks at these intervals. Um, I think what I did just because I already have my, um, my certification for this particular course that um, we're teaching on. So what I think I may have done, it looks like, um, was I just did the knowledge check just to make sure that, you know, I was didn't forget anything or nothing had changed. And if I did, the, if I passed the knowledge check, which looks like I did, I just didn't watch the modules. But for the students learning, that's not the way to do it. Um, I did, like I said, I've done a lot of my own research and training and learning um, last year when I was prepping for my first certification, um, which is what this class is doing. And so I just kind of bypassed that. So section two was going to be our, whenever we resume classes. So nobody's, unless they went ahead, which is fine. Um, nobody's really done that yet. So if you haven't gotten to the class yet, if you didn't get make it to, um, to the December class, because you know, it's December, um, you know, let me know and um, I'll be more than happy to get you in. We are offering it for this one time for free because it's the first time me teaching it. So it gives me practice to teach it. Um, but usually the classes will range anywhere um, from three to five hundred dollars. Um, so just as an FYI. So let's see, what is cloud computing? Let's go back to this right here, the outline. What is cloud computing? And it was probably in here, knowledge check, intro to cloud computing. Yeah, what is cloud computing? Um, intro to cloud economics, which was this one right here. Looks like I did watch that one. Cause I think I do, I do recall that being an area where I was kind of like not the strongest in. And intro to AWS cloud infrastructure. And it looks like I did watch that one as well. Looks like it was only five minutes. So I figured it was okay. Um, there's two of them. Mm, I passed the knowledge check. Okay. Um, I haven't really looked at this whole lot since December either. Um, so the knowledge checks, what they was required to do after the first class was the three knowledge checks. And then the lab. So I'm going to take a break here just a second and I'm going to start on another video just to focusing on the labs. So that's the end of this video.